man, Instagram just had a huge day. They threw this highly stylized show in San Francisco where Instagram CEO Kevin Systrom announced IGTV, okay? This is an entirely new long form video platform available as a standalone app, as well as inside Instagram itself, tucked up in the top right hand corner, completely separate from the stories and the feed. I messed around with it for about an hour today and there's not a whole lot there yet, but here is what IGTV is all about. Instagram hopes to lure celebrities, online content creators, and their audiences away from YouTube and onto IGTV. The length of the videos published on IGTV will eventually be up to 60 minutes long compared to the current time limit of just 60 seconds in the feed. That's 3,540 more seconds that we may be able to theoretically cringe through every 13 year old's daily one hour upload. <laughs> Oh yeah! Earlier this month, Pew Research Center made headlines with its study saying YouTube is the most popular social network amongst U.S. teenagers, with Facebook trailing significantly. If you're watching this and you're a U.S. teen, congratulations on making multi-billion dollar corporations bend to your will just because you like to watch vertical video. That's another thing about all this, vertical video. Kevin Systrom said IGTV is the latest step in Instagram's evolution and that horizontal video is inconvenient in this era where media consumption is increasingly happening on smartphones. This all sounds like what Snapchat has done with their discovery section where entire shows are being shot in portrait mode for a mobile first approach to content creation. For example, they had Lele Pons, a big Instagram influencer with like 25 million followers announce her cooking show on stage during the event. Lele said she wasn't gonna choose sides in this Facebook versus YouTube war and that she'll still be posting on YouTube as well as IG. If you're looking for new IG accounts to follow, you just swipe up in the app and scroll through who you are already following to see if they have started a channel or click on the popular tab. Selena Gomez, Kim Kardashian, Kevin Hart, and Ninja were on my recommended popular and that's probably because they were at the event and got first dibs on posting. You'll be able to tap directly into IGTV content from a user underneath their Instagram bio and it will support likes, comments, and sharing via DM. Okay, now I'm gonna sound like an old here, but What's so wrong about turning your phone on its side to watch a video? This entire thing seems like a huge gamble because we've seen the mobile first vertical video format work when it comes to short clips like IG stories, but it remains largely untested when it comes to longer content. Maybe it's just me, but there's a reason I don't hold my phone for 40 minutes in front of my face just to watch a show. I have a perfectly good 50 inch TV for that. Are you going to want to watch videos for up to an hour on your phone? Instagram thinks so. Also, are you gonna be one of the first filmmakers to shoot a movie entirely in portrait mode? Send me an email because I want in on that. If you're an Instagram influencer and you're looking to make some ducats off this new platform, IG says they don't have anything set up at launch because ads currently aren't a part of IGTV and Instagram is not currently paying any creators to upload content. At the uh, Q&A after the event, they said that they're focused on building engagement right now, but uh, paying people would be a reasonable place to end up and there will probably be a way for creators to make a living off IGTV in the future. Other key takeaways from today's event, uh, Instagram has reached over 1 billion users worldwide. Damn. The owner of Instagram, Facebook's stock rose 2.3% on Wednesday to $202, which is the first time Facebook stock has ever crossed the $200 mark. You know, as social media influencers have gained in popularity on Instagram, I wonder why it took them so long to roll this out, but I mean, hey, here it is. If you have less than 10,000 followers, you can only upload 10 minutes onto your IGTV, but I've seen some accounts with uh, as high as 40 minutes, so I don't know, we'll see. Instagram adding uh, hour-long videos in order to take on YouTube is gonna be a fight worth watching. Competition may actually help improve YouTube in the long run. You know, I saw YouTube come out and say it plans to update its commercialization options this week, so you already know it's on and poppin'. Personally, I think IG is straight up ignoring large creator bases like uh, gaming creators, movie reviewers, TV analyzers, educational content, tutorials, etc. These kind of things don't seem like they'll work on IGTV, at least in its current state. The one thing that YouTube has that nobody else does is that it's a platform for all kinds of content creators. Have you guys tried out IGTV yet? Do you want me to check out your content? If you have, drop those IG links in the comments below and let me check out what you got. I'll be over here in the meantime, patiently awaiting the endless big night out videos from all my friends premiering exclusively on IGTV this weekend. I'm Ben Scarborough. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.
Peace out.